Hey, this is Christopher Parham at Lipo Connection Solutions. I'm um, just going to showcase a new power supply that I that I have. Uh, basically, it was an HP model that's fanless, and by itself, it's not worth anything to anybody. So, um, after a little bit of researching and trial and error, I found the appropriate fans to go on them that move enough air to keep the unit cool. And so you can run it at 100% duty without it going into protection from overheating or anything like that. So right now this setup is basically I have two AGM batteries right here. They're from a, a UPS application. They can take a high rate charge. So I'm going to be hitting them with about uh, 50 amps. Uh, I'll show you that the battery is totally dead. And it's hooked up to the ports. Uh, of my 406 duo in parallel mode and then here we have the wires for the power supply um, for the charger going to the power supply and the power supply is down here so there you go and this is the HP model and it's 700 watts peak so two of these in series will give you 24 volts and 1400 watts so and then this will be doing a time lapse when i edit the video i'll show the the video of this in time lapse so you can see how long the power supply was under load and how many amps that it was giving out for that period of time um, i'm gonna go ahead and power these up one thing about these units is the fan that i uh, settled on is a it's a 40 by 40 by 30 millimeter fan it's a high speed fan It's 13,000 rpms and it moves about 24 cubic feet of air per minute i did have other fans that were smaller and quieter but they weren't moving enough air the smaller fans were um basically i couldn't I could only peak up to the maximum amperage or the power supply for a short time before it went into thermal protection. I want to sell power supplies that are good no matter what. They can run under continuous load. And um, just looking at the previous power supply models that I've sold, I had to basically go back to this model right here. Uh, I'm going to go back to this model fan here. It moves a lot of air. Um, it keeps the power supply cool. Um, it's loud, but there is no other way around it. This is a small compact Design here and normally these fanless power supplies get their air from the server case that they're in And then if you look at other power supplies that are the same shape and form factor They have the same exact fans and them to keep them cool. So uh, Before I get any complaints saying that they're too loud they need these fans to keep them cool. Um, other than that, you have a nice small uh, power supply and uh, in the same form factor that one of my 12 volt 57 amp power supply. So here it is. You got a 24 volt 56 amp power supply, but it's in the same form factor as a 12 volt 12 volt 57 amp power supply. So. Here it is, I'm gonna just put them side by side so you can see it's maybe half an inch wider, same length pretty much. Um, put them directly side by side. So normally you would, I would have two of these in series for 24 volts, but this is the same size, same height um, as this model, but this one puts out twice as much power. So this is a huge savings in space. You got a lot of power in a small, uh, a small space. Um, I also must mention that uh, this power supply, uh, one of the units is properly DC ground isolated. I go inside the unit, I isolate the screws with heat shrink and nylon washers to isolate the DC from the case. So they can be safely run in series. I've seen a lot of people on eBay selling selling power supplies and they're not doing them correctly. 
these units are physically touching if you take them apart you will not find any paper any cardboard any pieces of wood that are separating the units these units are touching they're safe to handle even if you take them apart they're still safe to handle and safe to touch um you know each other so that's another thing these are properly uh ground isolated So that's how the power supply sound when you plug them in. They're kind of loud, but they need that air movement. So the charger saying I have 24.568 volts. And then the charge on this battery is 22 volts. Normally it should be like around 25 or 26 volts. So this battery is 100% dead. I, these are 24 volt, 100 amp hour AGMs. Um, so it's going to take a while and it will really put these power supplies to the test. Okay, so I'm going to go through and set up the charge of the car. Alright, I said I was going to charge this at 50 amps. So right now I'm just setting the voltage for 24 volt battery. Go down here, change the amps. I think 50 amps should max the charger and the power supply out, so if not, I can just change it during the charge. So, again, here's the cables. They're going down to the front of the charger in parallel. The power supply is hooked up to the charger. Go ahead and hit start charge. Go ahead and start the camera. is pulling 58 amps from the power supply so I'm gonna come back in a little bit and check up on things this charger has a maximum input current of 60 amps so the current down here will creep up to 60 amps and it will stay there so its power supply will be under a 60 amp low for the duration of the charge um, the power supply is rated at 56, so time will tell to see how uh, this power supply performs.